In the small Iowa town of Lamont, surrounded by farms and crops, is a long gravel road. At the end of it is a home for friendship, love, and second chances for souls that have been abandoned. The difference between a typical farm and this one is the sound echoing through the night. No, you won't hear the classic farm animal hums, but instead, a howl of hope. It started when my children both went to college and I was left here alone. So my husband said I could get a dog. He said it had to be a husky. Um, he saw them, he liked the looks of them, which everybody does. I started researching them and the Siberians seemed to be the best. Not barkers, they were good with children, which I knew I would have grandchildren one day. Boy, let's go. They were just the right fit for me. Come on, Lakota. Aguila, up. My daughter and I picked out Zeus when he was about four months old um, from a breeder. We brought him home and he was just my soulmate for almost five years. And um, he just passed away one morning. After Zeus passed on, we still had Kita. We got her when she was 10 months old. We decided that she needed somebody else with her, we needed another dog. They're, they're pack dogs, so we wanted another husky. We um, went to a rescue by Harvard, Illinois, and that's where we found Dakota. He um, fell in love with Kita, she fell in love with him. We brought him home, um, and while I was at the rescue, that's when I decided that was what I wanted to do. I saw what the people were doing for those dogs and how great they were to them, and how they were supplying these or left alone animals with homes. Dakota is my, um, he's my leader, definitely. I know some trainers will say you can't have a dominant one or there aren't such things as dominant ones, but um, if you watch them in the pack, I think the Huskies are very much that way. He's rubbed, oh yes I do. I love those ears rubbed. Um, Kita is just our baby girl. She's been with us the longest. She's my honoring one. <laughs> she likes to growl at everything. Not mean, but just growl. She just, that's just her personality. Akila is real soft-spoken, real quiet, um, real loving. Needs lots of attention, wants to be cuddled, wants dolly rubs. The Huskies are very much pack dogs. And I think the more you put together, the happier they are. So I definitely think having my own here is a benefit. Right in the water. We have to drop the leashes right where we dumped the water bowl, didn't we? Um, it's not just me alone. Some days I feel like that, but I think everybody gets that way at times. They have good volunteers. They're, they really are. They're fantastic. I don't know what I would do without them. I started out helping as a project for my religion. It was I was getting confirmed, and I fell in love with dogs. Couldn't stop. Once you get to know them, it is really hard to let go of them. They're just big love fluff balls. I want to say approximately 32 or 33 have been through. And of those, I believe 27 were adopted out. We have applications online. All of our dogs are on Pet Finder. So if you see one you like, you just click on the little dog and it will take you right to the application. We will check your references. We will check your vet records. If that all checks out, we would have you and your family come visit the dog that you're interested in. If that meeting goes well and you decide that you'd like the dog, then we would bring the dog out to your home. I can take her. See, she's good. It's a great facility, very clean. It was very well organized and well um, ran when I went out to visit the first time. I had never been out there before. It's out in the middle of nowhere in Lamont. And uh, so we went out and I took my female and uh, they met uh, in an outdoor dog run. We're doing it on first come, first serve. So the first application we get in is the first one we look at. Um, if that goes good, that's where it ends. If for some reason that family just doesn't quite fit with that dog or a dog with the family, um, then we'll move on to the next application that we have for them. These dogs are very close to me, all of them. Everyone I've gotten in, I can tell you where they are and, and names and ages. Everybody in. There you go, coat. Yeah. 
the coat, I know. Here you go, Shy. Dakota. This is what Keita gets now. Rice and hamburger and chicken. You lay awake the night before and the night after, hoping you made the right choice. Marla is just great about placing, I think, the right dog with the right family. Um, you know, Kavik was the first dog that we did meet out at Homeward Bound, but he fit in so well with our family already that I didn't, um, I would go back to her in a heartbeat to adopt another one. Homeward Bound means to me just, it's like an extension of my family. If I ever have any questions, if I ever need anything, um, or even just basic, you know, questions about Kavik or where he came from or any dog um, question in general, I can call Marla. Good boy. Kavik is a great addition to the household. He makes every day fun. He, he does some of the craziest stuff. He's a great dog. Our visit to Homer Brown was welcoming. It was, the atmosphere is great. Her, her um, buildings, everything is just, it's awesome. I decided on Nitro because I liked how Marla had everything set up, how she interacted with the dogs herself. Um, she does very well with the dogs. She works with them, and that was the big thing. Nitro came to us as a puppy um, from a puppy mill. Even as puppies, they carry issues with them as they get older. We were lucky because the family came in, two young boys, who just absolutely adored him. And they knew what his situation was. They knew how timid and scared he was. They could see that. They were willing to deal with it. Knowing that he was in the puppy mill, I thought, that's, that's wrong. You know, I just, I wanted to see if I could do it. I wanted to see if I can get him out of that. Just, yeah, I was up for the challenge. <laughs> Nitro is a great addition to the family. We consider him one of our kids. He's a great family member. Cheyenne, he's approximately 12 years old. Great little guy, absolutely fantastic, quiet. He's just an old dog who just steals your heart. He just is adorable, you just wanna hug him. An older dog like Cheyenne, he wouldn't have to be outside as much. So, I mean, I would recommend him for like somebody that wants an inside dog. Lakota is very warm, she's funny. She almost smiles all the time. She's always just real light-footed and just real happy. My husband calls her um, a pillow on legs. Uh, if they adopted Lakota, they'd be gaining a big dog. <laughs> it would probably be a little bit of responsibility with uh, watching her weight because she is an oversized dog. And you have to be careful with dogs like that. They are on a special diet, especially her. She doesn't really get any treats, it's all carrots. And that's, you have to let her learn what a reward is. And a reward is a carrot, not a piece of beef jerky <laughs> or a bag of beef jerky. Come here, come on. Oh, they follow their path. Come here, come on, babe. Come. Oh, it's not like a cow. Georgia, <laughs> Georgia's just my girl. She's um, a lab husky mix. She is our just recently certified therapy dog. We're trying to, I guess I want to say, broaden the area where she can be adopted. So we're hoping like maybe a teacher or a nurse somebody, you know, who can take her to work with her every day because she is so people-oriented that, you know, she wants to be with her owner, she wants to be with other people. Uh, if they adopted Georgia, they'd be getting an awesome dog because Georgia is a very well-trained dog. She does take a little bit more know-how with the dog, but once she starts to trust you, there is an everlasting relationship. She can, uh, she's just phenomenal with her commands. She never breaks rules anymore. And Demon, <laughs> He's a demon. I love the ones that are a challenge, and he definitely is. He challenges me every day, which is great. You know, that's just the way he is, and, and somebody will find him and love him, too. I have some separation anxiety, which we're working on. This is a separation anxiety. Great personality. Loves to run, loves to play, can cuddle. He's great. Great dog. You got a dirty face. Come here. Ah, oh, that was a quick one. Get him. I do plan to retire from my full-time job one day. We have about, uh, I believe, 12 acres where the rescue sits. I would love to put a dog park on part of that. 
I would like to see other dogs come on, and if a dog park brings more dogs here, that's great, you know, to be able to see them and, and see them enjoy the area too and get to run and, and play. I'm, I think I'm doing a good deed. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of all the dogs that have come and gone through the rescue, the families that have adopted them, the volunteers I have that help. Um, it's all falling together better than I could have ever dreamed. Come on, Keila, out front. Let's go. Come on, babe. There we go. Everybody's doing a good job.